Good morning, guys. Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Ivana Banks. Uh, if you've never been here before, um, I do baby content. I actually just started doing this. Um, so today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my favorite baby products and my not so favorite baby products. My baby girl is 10 months old. Um, she actually just turned 10 months yesterday. Um, and so I've been using these products for 10 months. Uh, I should say that she was born with eczema. She still kind of has it. She gets flares up um, every so often. It's not so bad as it used to be when she was a baby. But um, um, these things or these products, I've noticed that some work, some make her get flare ups, some don't. So um, I'm gonna mention that in um, today's video as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one I'm gonna start with is um, uh, ointment, uh, aquifer. I do love aquifer. Um, I use it on her almost every single day. I use it on her bum. Um, if she has a breakout on her face or on her belly or her back, I'll apply it to her and usually it'll go away like within that day. So this is a must for me. I have to have this. I actually, I got this tub on Amazon. I believe it was $12. I got this such a long time ago and still have a lot in there. Here, I'll show you guys. See, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a lot in there still. And I think I got this when she was probably like maybe four months old, I wanna say. So, it's a must. It's definitely better to get it on Amazon because it's I've noticed it's cheaper than like Target or Walmart and it's bigger because the ones in Walmart or Target is usually like a tube. And I've went through so many of those when she was first born and they don't last long at all. So definitely recommend. <laughs> um, so the next product, I'm going to stay with the um, the aquifer products like, you know, um, the things for eczema. So Eucerin, um, I use this a lot when she was um, way younger. I don't really use it as much anymore since like I said, she doesn't have as many flare ups anymore. But when she does have a flare up, I will use this and I do see that or I notice that it'll go away. Um, it's fragrance free, it's two in one wash and shampoo. Um, and it's hypoallergenic and um, it's best for eczema. So if your baby has eczema, I definitely recommend this. Um, it did not ever make her break out at all. It's not harsh on your skin. I even used it on my skin for a little bit to make sure that it was good because I have a little bit of eczema. Not really terrible, but um, it doesn't dry the skin as well. So I recommend this. I've never had any issues with this. Um, I don't really use it as much anymore. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so then we're going to move on to Aveeno. Now, I recently started using this. A friend actually gave this to me, um, Aveeno Baby, and it's the Eczema Therapy Moisturizing Cream. And it has um, oatmeal, and it's also a skin protectant, um, and it's best for eczema. So... This I recently started using um, and I love it. it. I even use it on my own skin. It's very, very moisturizing. It's very thick and it's perfect for eczema because obviously, I'm sorry, <laughs> obviously eczema uh, prone skin is very dry and scaly and patchy. So this is perfect. Never had an issue with it. It's not strong. They're, um, it doesn't have a very strong fragrance at all. Actually, let me smell it. No, not at all. Like, I can't even smell it. And it, I even use it on my own skin, and I love it. So this is a must for eczema. Even if your baby doesn't have eczema, um, it's very moisturizing. It's very good. I recommend. The next is um, the Aveeno Baby, this little ointment I got when she was very little. Um, I didn't really use much of it. I mean, there's not a lot that comes in there. I don't know if you could tell, but... Um, it's pretty good, it doesn't have a scent at all. It's basically the same thing as this, um, except this is for night 
cream or night it's a balm it's a nighttime balm so usually she still has little breakouts on her face like on her cheeks right here and sometimes like on her forehead so like at nighttime i'll just rub a little bit on her face or you know anything like that um and i i mean i don't really notice anything significant about it um like i said it's basically the same thing as that i don't see the difference between the nighttime balm and the regular one so i'm not gonna say i recommend it but it, it's also i mean it never gave her any flare-ups so that's up to your discretion if you want to use it or not um and then staying along with the avino um this i love um it's the calming comfort bath lavender and vanilla scented so um it has natural oat extract in it so all together even though this has scent like i said um like five times already she does have flare-ups here and there but avino products in general even if they have a scent in it like this one i noticed that she still doesn't get flare-ups from it so i don't know if it's just avino products are really good or what it is but um i do like avino and i've noticed that this doesn't really give her as much flare-ups either um and i only use this at night um it's a part of our nighttime bath routine so um yeah and it smells really good it is kind of it's it has a high scent like i can smell it on her but um definitely recommend i love this i I'm, i mean i've had this since she was a baby but i also use a lot of other products too um i always try different things on her and i've been preparing to make this video for a while so um I, i've been buying different things so i love this i do recommend now if your baby is brand new and has eczema i might not recommend it because it's very scented and i will say this um that when she was a baby i did use this and it did break her out so i stopped using it for a long time um but since her eczema went away um like kind of it's not as bad i've been using it and it's been fine so <clears throat> i guess it's um based on what you want to do really um i will mention this though um so since she had like really bad eczema i'll insert a picture right here um she uh, i took her to a doctor when she was around like three months and um they diagnosed her with eczema um got prescribed a hydrocortisone cream i actually have the cream right here <laughs> um so it's this this is the hydrocortisone cream and this a lot comes in it i mean i barely use it and i used this and the uh, there's another heavy cream that came with this um it's upstairs in her room and i really don't want to wake her up but um i used both and literally her eczema went away within like maybe two weeks of me using that cream and she hasn't had anything really bad since then um so since then i've been able to use a lot more different products on her other than the user which is what i used on her when she was a baby like all the time um even when i was breastfeeding i even tried putting my breast milk on her rubbing it on her skin giving her um, breast milk baths i did all of it didn't work um it was really really bad so um it was definitely time to get something from the doctor so that's why i ended up um getting the hydrocortisone cream okay so enough of me babbling um <laughs> so these are the products actually no i'm gonna go ahead and do this so baby dove i love baby dove it doesn't have a scent it's unscented it's very it's not as heavy as the avino oatmeal lotion this one it's not as heavy as this one um it's very light and i like it a lot um <clears throat> and it pretty much lasts a long time i recently started using it um and it never gave her any flare-ups um it's very good for eczema it actually says it's 24 hour moisture suitable for eczema prone skin and it's fragrance free so and it's hypoallergenic and ph neutral so i would recommend this for a baby um like a smaller baby um it's kind of like um eucerin 
Um, when I went to her doctor, she, her doctor told me that Dove or Eucerin would be like the best thing you use for babies with eczema. So I do recommend it. I still use it on her. I use this more as a, a daytime lotion. Um, and I actually have an Aveeno lotion, nighttime lotion like this. This is the body wash, but I have a, a lotion that goes with it. And I use those two at night. And I use this one during the day. And I will usually use this one if she has like a little flare up or something. Something that's a little bit more sensitive. Um, as you can tell, I use a lot. <laughs> Um, I'm really just trying to use all of these things out, but I, um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with using different things because, um, because I know that these things don't break her out. So, I mean, I don't feel bad about it, so it's fine. Um, the next thing that I love is oil, oil logic, <laughs> oil logic, oil logic. Yeah, that, <laughs> um, so this is for six months plus. So this is not necessarily something I use every single day. I use it when she has stuffy nose, when she's coughing, when she when I just realize that she's under the weather, she's sick. Um, it has um, uh, what do you call it? It's a it's a vapor bath. So um, it's very strong, and I don't recommend using every single day. Obviously, this is more for when they're sick type of use. Um, and it's very strong. Um, I usually just put it in her bath and I let her like soak in it so she can smell it and just get all that nasty stuff out of her nose. And it's supposed to help with that. Um, as you can tell, I mean, I've used a lot of it. There's there's not that much in there. Um, I do like it a lot. It's, it's, it's very nice and I don't really know if it works, but I think it helps a little bit, you know? Um, it's very strong, so if your kid has eczema, um, I don't know if you want to use it because it could break them out. Um, I did notice that it broke her out a few times, but I just kept using it because obviously it helps with getting the mucus out. So that's why I did that. But, um, yeah, it does break her out. It's very strong. It's concentrated. Um, and it says that it's pediatrician dermatologist tested, but if your baby is very sensitive, it might not be good. Like my baby is very sensitive and it still breaks her out, even though she's out of you know, that whole stage where she breaks out for everything, this still makes her break out. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend um, if your baby has skin problems, but if not, it's good for when they're sick. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna move on to this, Johnson's baby oil. So there's a couple things about this. <laughs> My phone just <laughs> sorry guys let me prep that back up okay <laughs> hello um so okay so johnson's baby oil um so i have i do like this but um but she was little i guys hold on <laughs> i have to fix my phone <laughs> okay so just to let you guys know, since I'm new here, I don't have all the things that I should have. So I am using my phone and some towels <laughs> to prop this up so that I can make this video. Um, yeah, just bear with me here. Um, so Johnson & Johnson baby oil. Um, now, when she was a baby, this was very, um, this was very harsh on her skin. I, I noticed that it, break, it broke her out a lot. Um, I would put it in her hair, and I would put it on her all over her skin after I applied um, lotion. Um, and I didn't like it. Um, I did start using it again when she got a little bigger, but I don't use it on her um, on her skin. I just put it on her hair now. She has very curly hair, um, and I'll get into that soon too. But she has very curly hair, so sometimes I'll put this on to make it a little bit more moisturized. But Johnson Johnson products in general don't work for us. Um, I mean, I have used, you know, some of it, but this I've had this since she was a baby, and I just I don't use it anymore. Um, just on her hair, not on her skin, um, and that's only sometimes because I'm using something else now, and I'll 
I'll talk about that in a little bit, but um, Johnson Johnson products do not work with us. Um, eczema prone skin in general, I do not rec. I mean, I'm not a doctor. I'll just disclose that I'm not a doctor, um, but I um, do not recommend Johnson Johnson because it does break their skin out. It's highly fragranced and it's not moisturizing at all. Um, it just smells really good. I mean, if your baby it doesn't have sensitive skin and you love Johnson Johnson, that's fine. <laughs> but um, I mean, other than that, I don't really, I don't recommend. Um, and it, it just didn't work for us. It probably would work for a lot of babies because it is the number one baby product out there. But for, um, for her, it did not work. Uh, and it still doesn't. It still breaks her out and it sucks because this Johnson Johnson product I recently bought, no, maybe like a couple months ago. Um, uh, maybe around Christmas time, I think. But um, this smells amazing. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever smelled this before, but it is so good. <laughs> like, I want to use it on myself. <laughs> it smells amazing. It smells so good. And it just makes me so sad because I wish I could use it on her. It's just so good. Um, so it's Cotton Touch scent. Um, it says that it's clinically proven um, and it's mild, but I really, I don't believe that. I don't believe it. So um, it's ultra light and breathable, absorbs quickly and leaves no residue. It is very light. I'll give them that, but it's not moisturizing. Not one bit. Like It's so light. Like, let me see if I can even show you guys. I mean, you might not even be able to tell, but... It's just so light, like it's very like water-based, which is good for some things, but when it comes to like a baby, like when it comes to a baby, wow, can you guys even tell? Like I don't even know if you can see that, but it's water-based and that's not good for a child with eczema. I mean, you know, you wanna use something that's thicker and very moisturizing, that's not moisturizing. Um, not even, I've even used other Johnson Johnson products on her, um, like the regular pink bottle, um, that didn't work for her, um, none of the Johnson Johnson products. So that brings me to the baby bubble bath Johnson & Johnson product. This, um, now I will mention that I do use this sometimes in her bubble bath whenever I just want her to have a nice bubble bath, I will use, excuse me, <laughs> I will use this. But <clears throat> I don't think it breaks her out. I really haven't noticed. But it does dry her skin out. But it doesn't break her out. It's very drying though. Um, I got the, this as a baby shower gift. And yeah, yeah, just this as a baby shower gift. Um, so as you can tell, I really haven't used a lot of it. Um, I will use it sometimes when I just want her to have a really nice bubble bath. But that's it. Um, I won't, I won't really like bathe her with it. Like I won't rub it on her or anything like that. So, um, yeah, uh, Johnson Johnson is just really a no-go for us. Um, I really have given it a try. I've given it multiple tries and it just doesn't work. So, um, yeah. So next thing I'm going to get into, I actually just recently bought this. Um, it's Shea Moisture. It's raw Shea Chamomile and Argan Oil Baby Wash and Shampoo with Frankincense and Myrrh? Myrrh. 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 Um, that's what it looks like and it smells really good. Um, I don't know if you guys have that Think Dirty app, but that'll change your life. So, on the Think Dirty app, it rates products from zero to 10, I believe. And I would show you, but I'm recording on my phone. Um, but if you download the app, basically you just type in like a product. So what I do is I type in like all the baby products um, that I use and that I buy for her. Johnson & Johnson is rated, some of them are like eight. So zero being the best, 10 being the worst. Johnson & Johnson products is at the end of that. So it's around I've seen Johnson Johnson products rate between an eight and a 10. That's how dirty they are. So zero is clean, 10 is dirty. And Johnson Johnson products are dirty. <laughs> um, Shea Moisture, I forgot what it was. I believe it was like a three or a zero. It was either between a zero or a three. Um, 
this this was really this is really good i do like it a lot um she has like i said very curly hair and this has i noticed been really good in her hair and it smells good it's very thick but i have noticed that she's been breaking out on her neck and it kind of looks like heat bumps but i i can't tell if if this is breaking her out her breaking her out or if it's the heat bumps i'm not really sure um that is something that i will have to let you guys know because i um she gets hot very fast so i i can't really tell which one it is i don't ever since i noticed that she's been breaking out or had those bumps on her on her neck i stopped using it and she still has it so i kind of don't think it's this um but i will have to let you guys know because i really did just start using this maybe like um like two weeks ago so uh, I'll have to let you guys know, but I do like this a lot and there's even a lotion. I didn't buy the lotion But I might actually try the lotion and I will have to update you guys on that But back to the think dirty app um, A vino I didn't find a vino. No, I did find a vino I want to say it was rated like a three which is not bad dove was like a two um, This one was like a two I think uh, I didn't check Eucerin or Aquifer or anything like that, but Johnson & Johnson is definitely a no-go when it comes to that factor. So that's the main reason why I stopped using it because it's not clean at all. It's dirty. It's not good for their skin. Um, I don't know why it's the number one baby product. It's terrible. Um, one product that I, um, I did want to try was the Honest Company. Um, I did try that when she was little. And it broke her out but like i said everything broke her out when she was little so it might be different um it might be different now so i will have to let you guys know on that um so i have two more products and these are usually things that i put on her hair so i use virgin organic coconut oil this i put on her skin sometimes but i mainly just put in her hair um never nothing spectacular here i mean i just Put it on your hair um you know to make it moisturize the only thing is coconut oil doesn't really last very long it doesn't moisturize for too long so i can't really say too much there it's um a lot of people don't like putting that stuff on their baby skin um my husband is black i'm um, indian and colombian so you know my baby has very thick curly hair um and I'm okay with putting things like that in her hair, like oily things, but I know a lot of people don't like doing that. So it's just based on your preference. Um, so the last thing that I have is this. So um, his, my, my husband's mom uh, got this for her. Um, and I, at first I, I, you know, I didn't want to put anything like this in her hair, but then I started using it and I've noticed such a huge difference. Her hair, weirdly enough started growing more and it was so moisturizing it stayed in her hair all day um now i feel like it's not for babies i feel like it's for older kids like children you know it doesn't have like age on here but pretty sure it's for older kids um i have not looked this up on thing dirty so i will let you guys know in the next video what i think about what i think about this and um also the shea but this has been really good in her hair and I've been using it since Christmas and I've noticed such a huge difference in her hair. I've noticed her hair has grown. So I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but I feel like it does. <laughs> so, and I like it a lot. So um, I'll just have to let you guys know a little bit more about that later on, um, um, what I think about it. Um, I mean, I almost, there's like half, maybe less than half a bottle in here. So, I mean, I feel like it might be good you know i don't know I don't, i'm probably gonna continue using it so what <laughs> um so that's all the products i have for you guys um if you guys have any questions about anything just comment down below let me know what y'all think um follow my daughter on instagram her instagram is mavitaj19 um and i will link all of that below all these products i will link i will put them in the in the comments or I'll put them below. <laughs> um, and then I'll also leave my daughter's Instagram below. Um, please subscribe and like this video. I'm new here. It would be very, very encouraging and motivating if you guys let me know what you guys think about the videos, what you guys think needs some work. 
Um, if you guys have any advice for me, let me know. I'm here. I'm open. Um, please just let me know what I need to do to become a better person for you guys, for a YouTuber. Um, anything that you guys want, I will, you know, I will do whatever content you guys want me to do. I will do that. Um, I do, uh, well, I plan on doing a lot of mommy vlogs, um, shop with me, things like this. I enjoy and I could sit here all day and talk about it. Um, so just let me know. And um, yeah, so you guys have a great day um, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.